What's up guys, as always, welcome back to our Smogun OU battle versus Samuel. And this is an interesting matchup, for sure. Um, Heracross and Scissor is two very threatening Pokemon. Sarah Aura, however, is definitely fire. Oof, there are a lot of really good mods here. Positive part is I don't see a theoretical um, Pokemon that could be... Um, a stealth rocker, uh, besides Scissor maybe, so I'm gonna try to aim and get stealth rocks up early. And also, like, Heracross is a threat and a half, and even more so. So, with that said, Samuel, good luck, have fun, don't beat me too badly, and um, we'll see how it goes. Oh, we get his back after red. Kabuterimon, you, you, that's... Not the ideal lead for sure. <laughs> Question is whether or not it's Flame Orb or... I guess that lead makes sense now I think about it. Close combat is quite easy. Quite frankly, everything he does is kind of easy. Let's hope we can benefit from that. Close combat, please. Thank you. We're not going to be able to pull that one off again. Now, if he's Scarfed, he's going to get another hit on me. If he is um, Flame Orb, then we're speeding. He doesn't have a ground type, so a Spex Thunderbolt looks to be alright versus his whole team. Besides Serora, that is. Maybe we're better off with Heat Wave. Yep, yeah, he stays in. Nice. Don't be focused, Sash. That would be nasty. That would be absolute mad lab. But that would be nasty. Alright, nice. So. Um, I mean, Sarah Aura comes in, and what? That's. That's not the matchup I win. He shouldn't send in Scissor, and quite frankly, Scissor is really tough for me to deal with. So that's that brand of Sarah Aura. Which doesn't say anything for anybody, but basically, for us in the knowing, that's the in game Sarah Aura. <laughs> Which means no niche Tia moves. Usually they run close combat, plasma fist, uh, fire punch, blaze kick. Right. So we're good. We're good. Uh, that was a crit. And not a burn. Good. Earthquake is not looking all too shabby, all things considered. If he can switch up moves, he would go for close combat. So we're gonna Earthquake here. Yeah. And I think we're gonna stomach this, but we are definitely not gonna be able to set up rocks in this game. But Serora out of the way is kinda nice. And I get the play, because basically if I set up rocks here, he wins this matchup. Which is why Earthquaking, because if I don't Earthquake, he wins this matchup. Um... Alright. Let's... Let's rethink this a little bit. We got your Shifu, which is phenomenal. And absolutely a wicked blow away from oh Mel Metal. I wanna set up Stealth Rocks. I really do. Versus Mel Metal, I think that's the only chance that makes sense. Yeah, I'll try this. Yay! I hope it was worth it. I really hope it was worth it. Because I am so much dying now. He's connecting a dynamic punch. That is... Um, well, I don't know what to say. That's actually... That's phenomenal. Um, we can't low kick kill it for sure. Disease is not able to pressure it. Ah, uh, I gotta send in this guy. The thing is, I am very unsure Heatwave is able to KO it, and even if it is, I am locked into Heatwave, the worst of the remaining options that I do have. Actually, Heatwave is not that bad. Connected, Specs, come on, that's gotta be plenty, yeah. Ooh, yeah, Snaptoes, fuck yeah! <laughs> 
So the Specs Rain variant of Zapdos has actually been doing some very heavy lifting for this team. Not going to lie, like I had a really niche idea with the Weather Ball, but I should have just made up my mind and used this. That's the Rapid Strike variant, that's... That's not the Mon I want to see. That's a very problematic Mon, actually. <laughs> Alright, I'm switching out, I'm out of here. Um, that is not good. So you strike, you're gonna stomach this ish. Oh yeah, yeah. Elder Goss is just not giving any shit. Unless he has Earlease and Dynamax, and I basically just say, yeah, that's a wrap. I don't wanna get in that position. I don't believe I want to see him beat me silly. He would draw, thank god. Here comes Scissor, and uh, that is also kind of problematic. Uh, four times resisted, that's not going to impress anybody. Um, and he could, if he wants to, you turn on me here. Oh. I knew this was a switch in. Anybody with any knowledge of anything new that was a switch in. So anyway, switching out, of course. I swear if he U-turns. Like that is if he does, I mean what can I say? That's that's awesome. Good on him. Exist so yeah, good. Oh, it does so much though. Yeah, I'm weather balling the shit out of this. Great. Great, 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 great. And we will do what? Oh! It was not Spedef. It was not Spedef. That's the thing though, like he beats this matchup so badly. This time it's just going to close combat, right? That makes sense. Can I afford to lose this matchup? I, I don't know. If he dynamax, like I said, I'm screwed. On hedge. Good. Good, 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 good. Two more turns of rain. versus charge so that's question oh he keeps attacking though this is a mad lad you can will do ooh, 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 ooh. okay 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 hell yeah you know I never knew without sounding too cocky I never knew what in theory the ideal like switch into something like this Pokemon could be but seeing this like in first hand, all I can say is that I am impressed this worked so well as it did because I didn't think it would. I absolutely didn't think it would. So, right, last matchup is Charizard, and I feel confident enough in this matchup to be able to possibly win it. Maybe. Is the heavy duty boots? Usually they are. He isn't. So, what do I do? Because if he Dynamax and go for Fire Move, then I, like, I can't send him, send him Bellissi Bufu. So, I'm actually going to pretty much sack play this Pokemon. Because, yeah. <laughs> it was in the air, for sure. So, I guess I'm leaving the victory to Politoed. Or it depends. It depends. That's actually... Not a Pokemon that can set up at least. I was gonna say fire. Game Max Wildfire will not create anything for him. Oh, we actually managed to live. Question is for how long? <laughs> yeah, we're, we're we're not doing anything there. One eighth might actually be enough here. Oh, it does sting though. It does sting. Anyway. Basilibufu, sending you in for sure. 
And he can just go for Gmax Overgrowth, I think. When he's wrapping up. Um, Rizzle is mainly here to reduce the damage output, but he can just level between moves. He's gonna go for a Wildfire again. Yeah, there we go. Max S3. That's going to pretty much kill me. How oh, didn't it kill me, though? How, you know, but the Wildfire will. The, you know, the Wildfire will absolutely burn the Toad. And... Um, I think it's only fair with the matchup to be able to send in my Disease 19. I have two ways of winning. Either sending diseases and pretty much wrap the game up as fair as I can do, or I switch in and Sucker Punch. But quite frankly, our mold will show it's brawn, and I'll happily let him wrap up the game. So with that said, very much GG. That was actually quite intense. I did not need Dynamax to win, quite frankly. I think I've faced a team here who had uh, some some different ideas of what to create for an offensive team. So, to Samuel, very much GG. Thank you for the battle. Definitely fun. And for everyone watching, as always, thank you for doing so. Make sure to, of course, like and subscribe. And I'll see you next video. Until then, take care, everyone.